Hey guys, it's Zach here with the next Voted For System Test, and this time, things are a little bit different. So today, the most requested for device for horn strobes was the Simplex True Alert, which means I put up all my True Alerts and have them set to Smart Sync. So we got the True Alerts over here. These ones are on horns, horns and strobes. The one in the closet, however, is different. And that one, even though it's it's got the horn, this is my four wire device. It's selectable, so I have it set to sync, but uh, it's just the, the strobe is wired up in there. But we're going to do something a little different. Normally I use my fancy uh, converter. However, um, you'll see in here, here's the module, because I didn't have a better place to put it. I stuffed it in the panel. Um, so here's all the NACs going out. They're T-tapped, which I know is not ideal. Um, there's the, the strobe control in and the horn control in, but we've got AC power, which means we're going to be putting in full wave rectified because my little, my other converter board that I don't use for my Raspberry Pi is broken. So I'm actually going to pull the power because when you have batteries in here, they put out filtered DC current. The problem with, with full wave rectified only comes really from the transformer here because it doesn't filter that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the system like this and it should be set to March time, which was the requested code. I don't know if they'll do it, but I have this set to one and two. So we're going to give this a shot starting with the BG12 today. Here we go. Three, two. One. Okay, so it's a slow march time. Alright, we're going to silence. I do have it set to selective silence. Alright. And that's for all of them. I hope I don't drain my batteries here. But uh, there's a cat rolling around. But there's the strobe going there. So, like I said, that one's just treated as a remote strobe. Nothing else. Cat, you need to move. <laughs> um, all right, and now we've got... Well, that was weird. Did a double sink. All right, now we got the horns going again. All right, we'll silence. All right. These guys are loud, I, I'll tell you. Uh, oh, this one's different. I forgot about this. The BG-10 was requested. And I decided to hook it up a little differently because I do have a regular BG-10, but I also have a BG-10... P, which is kind of fun. And the reason is this. I could pull this, but it's not going to do anything. Okay? Because it's got the second switch, and that's what I decided to hook up. I could have hooked them both up, or I could have set it up as two-stage, but two-stage wasn't the request. So I just have the um, other switch hooked up. It's key activated only. Silence that. And for our detector today, I think I'm going to do a smoke test of the SD355.
just the strobe in here. We'll silence. All right, silence, that's still rocking and rolling. And we're gonna come back into here. Now while that's silenced, we'll pull down our detector head and just give that a quick puff of air out of here, wave it out a little bit. Just to make sure it doesn't try to go back an alarm. Interesting thing about these smoke heads, if you leave too much smoke around them and you try to reset it, it might actually um, go into a, a dirty trouble, um, which is not a good thing. So don't recommend it. Now you've got these pole stations. Put our key in there. And same for this one. All right, and that is going to be it for today. You'll hear the chur alerts did a little chirp there at the end. That's because uh, SmartSync does that sometimes. I can't really explain the answer as to why. I just know it does. I think it's a uh, keeping everything in sync so when they start going off again, they're set. But I can't confirm that, and I'm not going to pretend to know. So, uh, guys, with that being said, that's actually going to end it for the video today. Uh, the next uh, voted for system test will be coming up soon. Remember, uh, because I turned all of your requests, individual requests, into votes, um, if you requested the Simplex True Alert or the BG10s, feel free to give yourself a little shout out on there because, um, in the comments below, because I want everyone to uh, still get the recognition for requesting devices, and unfortunately I can't go through and list everyone who requested our, each and every device. But, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> uh, leave a like, any comments below, I'm happy to answer any questions, and I will see you guys in the next video.